Can I, I'm glad you're excited about this emoji movie, yeah. and I'm glad that things are going well for you, but A, I'm a little bit angry with you, and B, I'm worried about you, and I'm gonna tell you why. Why are you quitting Silicon Valley? This is a terrible idea. I love that show. I love your character, Early Bachman. I think you do a great job. Thank you. The show is not over. In fact, don't, aren't there two more seasons of the show to come? I mean, perhaps. I'm no, yeah, I'm not on it anymore. You so. will not be on the show anymore. No. Did you get fired? Did you steal something? Did you steal that ring? I mentioned earlier that I didn't want to talk about this. Uh, I know you did, but... Jimothan, <laughs> please. Uh, no, I mean, you know, an organic sort of out arose. They had a cliffhanger, and I thought it would be funny just to exit. And you're a family man. You talk about that a lot on the show. Yeah, and I, I never I, go home. I want to... I wanted, I'm always there, though. You can see me outside, peering over your fence. Uh, no, I, you know, I wanted that four and a half months. First of all, I felt myself kind of going on... It's hard, you know, you do a television show. It's I'm very lucky, it's such a great show. You guys love the show, I mean, it's a great show. It is show. a great show. It's, 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 it's only gonna become better with me not on it. Why I know do you say that? Because it has to change, it has to grow. Uh -huh. has some, there's something dynamic that has to happen. And those four and a half months, I wanted to, I, we moved to New York City, and I wanted to spend that time with my wife. I want, I, you know, I've worked so hard for so long on every single medium. I feel like I am offering things like Deadpool and How to Train Your Dragon and yeah. Burger and all yeah, that. Yeah, but what about Silicon Valley, though? That's an, that's, well, I yeah. mean, you know, have you seen the Emoji movie? No, I have not seen it yet, no. I, but I'll probably watch it with my daughter, and it's really a movie for kids, primarily, right? And, and women over the age of 72. <laughs> That's the demo you're going for? <laughs> we solely want children under 12 and women over the age of 72. That's good. You just cut We've out the We've killing middle. with it. Yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> but I really think you should, is, if, there, if it's not too late, call Mike Judge, call HBO, call whoever, whoever the hell you need to call and say, I'm back in. Ehrlich's back. But that would sort of ruin the joke, and... <laughs> Who cares? Have you seen the Emoji movie? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, have you? No, I mentioned that you I had You didn't do the yeah. research. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I had seen the Emoji movie... Then you, we wouldn't even be talking about this. You'd I would be, be saying, okay with this. Be, you'd be texting me right now. Is part of the reason you wanted to move to New York and you wanted to get out yeah, of L.A.? Yeah, I mean, I, I felt certainly under this current climate and administration, I thought it might be good to have more time to do stand-up. Because okay. I thought that would be the way that I would pitch in and kind we of talk to We have that here. Right? Yeah. We've got that going on here in LA. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But New York, it's, there's a lot more stage time. When I'm in New York, when I'm in Los Angeles, I do two to four sets, possibly. In New York, I do six to ten sets per in night. one night. Yeah. Wow. And so seven nights will give you a month's worth of stage time in Los Angeles. So I figured I have to go there to really be able to apply the work ethic. The weird thing is, though, is my wife is sort of this famous underground artist in New York, and she has all these friends, and they're all in their 70s. That's true. <laughs> she loves septuagenarians for some reason. But I, I moved to New York, and my last friend that lived in New York, Nick Vaderot, he moved to Los Angeles, right? So I have no friends in New York at all. You no don't have friends. Any friends. It's so weird. It's like, it's like going to college. That was very inauthentic. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there something funny about this story? <laughs> uh, but it, it really is this sad thing where it's like going to college. You're sort of looking around, talking to people, being like, are you, could you be a friend? You're like taking up hacky sack, just being like, <laughs> are you, could you be a friend? Like the closest friend I have is the guy at the head shop near where we live. <laughs> and I go and I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's like, we have special on one hitters and uh, bubblers. And I'm like, a lot of new bubblers. So what are you doing this weekend? You think? I got a couple of shows I can get you into. <laughs> it's like, no, I work here today. I work here nights. And I'm like, cool. Well, if you ever want free passes to a comedy show, you can bring you and your, your wife. She was killed. All right. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's been a tough go of it. But I'm slowly well, kind of trying to make friends in New York City get used to that. I have good news It's mostly for about you. the work. Guillermo is going to be taking a trip to New York pretty soon. But how? If he can... <laughs> if his passport comes in. How, how will we get there? Because this is true. I left my passport in New York when I came here for your show. How will we get across the border to New York City? The large apple, the city yeah, that really sleeps. We'll figure it out. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.